Men's tens will be right around on this side here. I'll take you this way. Carol's Western Wear, endearingly known in Laurel as the Baby Butt Building, is closing. A difficult decision owner and manager Bob Chance says will hopefully make his business stronger. Well, we don't want to close. So we've been here June or July. It'll be 25 years that we've been in Laurel. So, but uh, we need to tighten the reins, pardon the pun, and fall back to the homestead in Glen Burnie. A boot destination store is Bob's goal for the Glen Burnie store. Not just cowboy boots, but a variety of boots and leather goods. This move is one Bob's father says is necessary for the family business to compete with technology. The younger crowd, give them a pair to try on, tell them how they're supposed to fit. In the meantime, while they were there at the store, they take a barcode uh, of camera and mm -hmm. take a picture of the boot, take a picture of the tag with the information on it, mm -hmm. so forth, and they learned everything they want, didn't pay a dime. Beverly has been coming to Carol's Western Wear for many years and says she prefers the one-on-one -on -one customer service. I think a lot of people do the convenience of online shopping because they're, they're too busy. I'd rather come in, I can look at other things besides boots, you know. While closing Carol's Western Wear will open a new chapter for Bob's family's business, letting some of his employees go who have become like family will be the hardest. You know, we have about 10, 12 employees, and so, you know, I put food on their table. That's what my dad's proudest of, you know, is feeding um, his employees, and taking care of them. And, you know, we're not able to do that closing this store. Carol's Western Wear store is now closed, meaning residents who live in Laurel have to travel to Glen Burnie just to buy their cowboy boots, and ironically, online. For Laurel TV, I'm Tamika Smith.